Hey everyone, today I'll show you my absolute favorite early game loadout in the Cycle Frontier full release. I've been getting this question a lot on stream and I wanted to make a quick video to help out new players joining the game for the first time since the game just launched yesterday. Step one is to level up Osiris Faction to level five as soon as possible and unlock the Manticore. In my opinion, the Manticore is the most versatile gun in the game right now at the early levels. It holds its own in PvP from close and medium range and is effectively able to kill every single creature on Bright Sands. Even the Marauders, it's a little bit of a pain, but you can kill them no problem with enough ammo uh, against Marauders. Buying a 2 times scope or a red dot for your Manticore is a good idea. Personally, I use the 2x every single time I drop in. I find that given the terrain of the map, many of the fights end up being like medium range anyway. So the gun itself holds up really, really well um, with a 2x scope on it. Also, it's going to do quite well for you close range. The zoom in is not that far, so close range fights you can still do really good work with this scope on it. So the most important attachment in my opinion is the 2x on the gun, but I like to buy every single white attachment that is offered by the general vendor uh, at the main base, and I focus everything on recoil control and ADS speed. And don't forget a flashlight, that is really handy in this game, there's a lot of dark areas. Next, you want to craft green armor, green helmet, and a green backpack at the printing station. The materials for these items are very easy to find on Bright Sands. Polymetallic prefabricate is predominantly found at Vaccine Labs and Waterfall Labs in the north area of Bright Sands. They're often found as loose loot or inside white cabinets, but these two areas are going to have a ton of them every time you find one, toss it in your safe pockets, and start stockpiling these back at your home base. Next, you're going to need Altered Nickel, which is found in Nickel Nodes, which are scattered all over Bright Sands. I'll have a map in the description below that can help guide you to where the Nickel Nodes are. I made this map in the beta, and its accuracy is not 100% anymore with all the changes that the devs have done to the game for full release, but it will help you out a lot. And next, we have Hardened Metal, which is very common all across Bright Sands, so just grab it every time you see it. It's everywhere. And again, start stockpiling this at your home base, along with spinal bases, which are literally a 100% drop rate or close to it off of striders, which again are all over the map. So stockpiling these materials is gonna make you have access to green across the board uh, very easily in this game and not hard to do at the early levels. Now, if you go in with everything, the total cost is 16,900 in Kmark's currency. Now I understand that sometimes things don't go our way and we're dying a lot or whatever. So I'm gonna give you a list of priority for these items. So if you can't afford everything, you know, you can always know what's the most important in my opinion. Number one and most important is the Manticore with the 2X scope. So making that purchase for the Manticore and the 2X scope is huge. That's the most important thing. Next, I would say the body armor, you know, having a green body armor uh, is going to help in PVP fights. Next is the green backpack. Being able to extract with 50 weight more of stuff just to sell and keep your bankroll moving in the you know, upward direction is very, very important. So having a green backpack. Green helmet would be you know next on my list. Most people with the amount of recoil that you see in the early game fights in this game, it's harder to hit the head. I mean, it definitely does happen, but you know, kudos to them if they nail their headshots. But I like to have... Uh, all the other things before that. And then lastly, I would say, you know, all the white attachments on the Manticore are the last thing that you could buy if you're strapped for cash. So Manticore, highest priority, and then kind of work your way down from there. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck in all your raids. And if you're looking to find your way back for more Cycle Frontier content, then make sure to drop a sub and I'll catch it in the next one.